Okay, problem number four to, for the test one review physics bootcamp. Problem four, you throw a ball upward at a speed of 40 feet per second and eventually you catch it. How many seconds will it take for you to catch the ball? So you just throw something up, then it comes back to you. How many seconds will it take to come back? And what is its final velocity when it comes back to you? Of course, we're assuming air friction is negligible. What is its maximum height, right? So there's several different ways we can approach this. We could first find the maximum height or we could find the final velocity or we can, we can find uh, the time to go up. So one of the ways we could do it is we could use this equation. V final is V initial minus 9.8 T or V initial minus 32 T, right? Now, you have to look at the units of the problem. If the units are given in feet per second and feet, right? Every, well, in this case, only one piece of information is given to you is the feet per second. So then you've got to use the 32. Why? Well, the unit of G is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, which is negative 32 feet per second squared, and that's the unit of the acceleration of gravity. So in feet, it's 32. Okay? So what I could do is I can find out what is the final, uh, what is the time that it takes to go up, right? So you throw it up at uh, 40 feet per second. It goes up, it goes up. The velocity final at the top is zero, right? So momentarily it reaches a velocity of zero, then it comes back. So you put the final velocity here is zero. Initial velocity is 40. This one gives you the time that it takes to go up, right? So uh, T is equal to, we can call it T up, 40 divided by 32, and eight goes into this five times, eight goes into this four times, and it's 1.25 seconds. So if it takes 1.25 seconds to go up, it will also take 1.25 seconds to come down, right? So that means the answer to the total time is two and a half seconds, right? So it's gonna take two and a half seconds to go up and down. T total equals two and a half seconds. <coughs> okay, now what's the final velocity when it comes back to you? What's the velocity that you catch it at? A lot of introductory physics students say the final velocity is zero when it comes back to you. No, okay? The final velocity just before it's coming, okay, should be the same as the velocity that you threw it at, right? If you ignore air friction. So the final velocity should actually be the same. So how are we gonna get it? Well, we could use the same equation Uh, use the 32 here and final velocity we don't know V initial is 40 what should we put for the time the time we should put two and a half seconds right so now we know that it took one and a quarter seconds to go up two and a half for the whole trip what's the final velocity when it comes back to you okay So calculate this uh, answer. Well, what is that going to be? 40 minus 32 times 2.5. The final answer is negative 40, right? Meters per second. Oh, sorry, feet per second. So what does that mean? When you catch it, it is coming down towards you with the same speed that you threw it up. So the final velocity is opposite direction, but same magnitude as what you threw it, right? It's coming down, negative 40. Now, what is the maximum height? What's the maximum height that you reach? Well, there's again several ways that you could do it, just like I showed you in the previous problem, right? 
you could do the maximum height this way. Y final is equal to Y initial plus V initial T minus 16 T squared. Y is 16, half A T squared, half A T squared. Always the X equation or the Y equation is half of A. So if A is negative 32, half of negative 32 is negative 16. So Y initial is zero, Y final, you threw it at 40. How many seconds did it take to go up? One and a quarter, right? Minus 16, one and a quarter squared, right? 40 times one and a quarter, minus 16 times one and a quarter squared. Y final is 25 feet. <coughs> so it's gonna go to a height of 25 feet. What other equation can I use? Well, I could again use Y final is equal to Y initial plus V initial plus V final over to T. Y initial is zero. V final is zero, why? Because we're at the top, the final velocity is zero. V initial is 40. The time to go up is one and a quarter. And it does give you much easier way of getting it than this, you see? So uh, that's gonna be 20 times 1.25, <laughs> exactly the same, right? 25 feet. And the third way of getting it, again, is going to be Uh, with the other equation, the final squared is equal to V initial squared minus, nine, uh, minus 64, Y final minus Y initial. Why 64? Because uh, the V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus 2 times the acceleration, right? 2A. So this is going to be A is 32, negative 32, 2A is negative 64. So the final velocity is 0. Initial velocity 40, Y final we don't know, Y initial zero. Again, this one goes over here, 64 Y final, 40 squared, Y final is equal to 1600 over 64. What's 1600 over 64? 25 feet, wow, see all of them same answer, okay? Okay, so now you know how to do these kinds of vertical motion free fall problems. Okay, thank you.